Okay, this is just a little comparison of uh, oil pumps. This is a little mini pump, which is what you'll see almost everywhere. And this, that's a sun, this one here is a Sunstrand, by the way. Uh, there's an old Webster. Now, that Webster was put in probably in the early 50s, something like that. Uh, weighs probably three times what the mini pump weighs. There isn't a very big pump inside it, but I thought we'd just kind of go through this silly thing just to take a look at it. Now, there it is with the cover off. There's no screen here. The screen's up here in, the, in one of these top deals. Uh, and I'll go over that in a little bit. But right now I'm going to take this uh, covers off the pump. Okay, there's this top cover off. And you can see there's a gear pump in there. And the two gears rotate like that. And in this case, they're pulling oil up this way. They're actually moving this way, come around, and there's the same thing as this little indentation on the bottom. Uh, they're a simple pump, uh, gear type pump, as with most of this type of pump, a uh, little different than the mini pumps are because they used a ring, kind of a ring gear in them. Uh, but this is a standard old uh, uh, gear pump. So this is an old pump. It's probably 50, 60 years old. And it still works. This pump was pulled out just simply because uh, they changed to gas. These pumps were absolutely amazing. They would run with dirt, water, anything in them, and they still would continue to run. I've seen some of the dirtiest oil in these things that you could believe. Part of it was they had pretty good screens in them. But other than that, they were just built like the, uh, well, we'll, uh, we'll say they were built well. Okay, top cover, spring, thingamajig, doohickey spring. and bellows. Okay, the springs uh, were for pressure adjustments. You could adjust the spring here. You could adjust it through there. Let me see if I can get that cover off. Okay, I've taken this cover off and we've seen all the springs and the like inside. Right down there, that's an adjustment. It's a Allen head. You can't really see it in there. I suppose I can get to where you can see it. But what it does is pushes down on this, which pushes down on this. It pushes that spring down. And the, if you push it down, that increases the pump pressure. This is a bellows. This is probably the only part on these that I really saw any failures on. Uh, because it was would move like that and occasionally the bellows would break. But even that was fairly uncommon on these pumps. Uh, that one looks like it's original equipment. Uh, but anyway, your adjustment is going to be put this cover back on here and look at the pump again. It's going to be right there. So if you needed to adjust it, you would take the cap off of there and uh, adjust it down. If this thing did not pump at all, what I would expect to look at is pull this uh, bellow, bellows. Um, last I knew they're still available. That may not be true because it's been a while since I've worked on one of these things. Okay, let's take this other cover off here. 
Okay, I've got these screws off of this side. I pull that up. There's a spring here, and then there's a doohickey in there. Let me see if I can get it out. Okay. Uh, okay, there's a screen. Uh, this is probably a replacement screen. The original ones actually had four screens. Uh, you disassemble this little thing. There's there's a screen on the outside. There's three more on the inside. So they were uh, quite the beast for uh, for keeping the oil clean. Goes in there like that with the cover on top. Right here is a bleeder. There's an Allen head in the end of this. See it right there. And that's how you bleed the thing. Uh, these were uh, monster pumps. You know, comparing again this little mini to it, it's it weighs probably eight nine pounds. A heavy chunk of cast iron, probably used more cast iron than they ever needed to in this thing, but. Uh, they were well-made pumps, and they lasted a very, very long time. Uh, just kind of an interesting thing. I don't doubt if anybody's ever going to see any of these things again, because they're mostly gone now. i uh, got an old early 50s burner. Sometimes you'll see one of these, these old buggers on them. And that is the old, old Webster pump. <laughs>